God bless you. This is Pastor Washington, and I'm excited about 2023. I'm excited about what the Lord is going to bring forth. Uh, this year, God has given us a theme called the Lord's Release. You know, last year, God gave us a theme called Taking the Next Step, and God blessed us with that. Many of us took the next step in ministry, took the next step uh, in wisdom and understanding, uh, got closer to God. You know, started being able to follow his will, started being able to hear his voice more clearly, and just took some steps in our families, on our jobs. I heard about promotions, I heard about healings, deliverance, so many things that took place. This year, God says, the Lord's release to release it into his hands. I want to show you this real quickly. If you haven't saw it or followed us or on our Friday night or Saturday, Saturday night service, uh, this scripture comes from Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 2. And it says, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth ought unto his neighbor shall release it, and he shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. So our text, our theme comes from this text called the Lord's release. At this time, God wanted the creditors to release those that owed them money. He said, release them. On every seven, on the seventh year, he said, release them. And then those who, even the animals, release the animals to not have to plow the fields, uh, release the farming, release all of that stuff. He says, this year, I want you to depend on me. Those, he says, you know, th this is going to be in the control of God. Don't worry about how the crops are going to come in. This is going to come by the control and the will of God. And so this year for us and those who partner with us, those who are connected with us, God says, this is the year of the Lord's release. But you got to put your dependency in God. You got to put your trust in God. You got to put your heart into God, knowing that it's the Lord that will build. It's the Lord that will grow. It's the Lord that will add. You know, his commandment for us is to seek ye first the kingdom of God. We quote that, but do we really believe that in our heart that we must first put him first? And no matter what else happens, God, I'm putting it into your hands. I hope you say that with me. Lord, I'm putting it into your hands. There are some things that we all have to release. You know, it may be some family members say, I got to release that unforgiveness. The first sermon that I preached this year following Saturday night, Sunday morning, I preached about unforgiveness and how in order for God to bless you, you got to clear the ground. And some of us, we hold too many weeds in our life that complicate our life. And while you're holding on to that stuff, it's not putting the person in bondage. It's putting you in bondage because you're holding it in your heart. I said about the man who he wouldn't forgive the one who owed him money, although the king forgave him. And I, and I told him Sunday that while you're trying to choke somebody else, you're actually choking yourself. Uh, uh, forgiveness is the thread that mends us together. When you forgive, you're taking that burden, the weight, the low off of you. And so that's what the Lord told us this year. He said, if you, you're going to do this thing, you got to start right and you got to release it. Uh, you know, many of us are talking about what happened to the football player from the Buffalo Bills and the complications that happened with his heart. And they say, you know, his heart stopped beating while he was on the field. Well, at this time, his family has to put their dependency. We're praying. Everybody's praying. Many people are praying, people are giving funds, but at this time, you have to put your dependency in the Lord. When somebody gets sick, somebody goes down, you have to put your dependency in the Lord. I played football for almost 20 years, and I know every time I got on the field, I was putting my life in jeopardy. But even young, even at a young age, I knew that I have to put my life in the hands of the Lord. I have to put what I have in the hands of the Lord. So we're praying that he has a full recovery. But but these things, these things have to be put into the hands of the Lord. There's somebody in your life. You know, you might have lost a loved one. Somebody's sick. The doctor gave you a negative report. You know, you don't know what's going to happen with the future of your job. Put it in the hands of the Lord. You have to release it. You have to release uh, the burden and understand, as the Bible says, there are many scriptures, cast your cares upon the Lord. Hallelujah. And it, it talks about that, for he careth for you. Even Psalm 55, when David said, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he will sustain you. God is the one that will sustain. God is the one that will strengthen. God is the one that will allow you to recover. But this year, he says, put your dependency 
in God. I don't know about you as a pastor. I'm putting the church, I'm putting my dependency of the growth, I'm putting my dependency of the development in the hands of the Lord. What about you? What is it that you need to release this year? What is it that you need to release to start out strong, to start out with a clean slate? Think about that. You know, in your spare time, think about that because God wants us to release it into his hands. Here's some things that you can do this year to start out right by releasing. Start out, number one, uh, praying. Develop, I'm talking about just the little bit of prayer. I'm talking about consistent prayer life, spending time with the Lord. Uh, one old preacher said, he said that, you know, when you pray, you're talking to God. But when you read your Bible, you get an opportunity for God to speak to you. So number one is pray. Number two, read your word. Number three, fast. Our ministry is fasting right now. 21 days, Daniel fast. We're fasting. But during this time, it would be in vain if we don't make sure that we're doing the praying, we don't do the reading. And I, I want to recommend at least 30 minutes a day, get you some reading and get some study. Let, let the Lord speak to you about what he wants to do in your life. And you won't be confused about the direction. Many people are confused about the will of the Lord because they don't read the word of God. Amen. Many people are confused because about the will of the Lord, because they don't read the word of the Lord. So in order to get some clarity this year, get in your Bible, prayer life, fasting. Let's start the year off right. I'm excited about tonight. We have Bible study. It won't be online tonight because we're doing some in-person study and we're going to get really, really deep into it. And so I didn't want to focus on streaming. And those of you who watch us online, you got to comment. Let us know you're watching. Let us know our ministry is blessing you because when it blesses you, then we're able and we see that online and you like it and you share it. Then we know that we're doing the work of the Lord. We want to continue to give you good content. Uh, subscribe to our channel, but I'm excited about what the Lord is going to do. Remember, it's the Lord's release. This is the year that you release it, start out strong, and God is going to bless us. God bless you. I hope to see you real soon. Have a wonderful day.